Good evening, this is Dr. Thomas Klein coming to you from Raleigh, North Carolina. I am a specialist in permanent, rare, and chronic painful diseases, many of which are not well known. But if you're curious, you can go on Google and Google the words medium, catalog, rare. And that will give you our list of rare diseases. Good to share with your doctors. Well, um, we have started our Suspend CDC campaign. You can go to this website. You just plug in Suspend CDC and that's good enough. It will uh, show you how to send letters to the White House and to CDC telling them they need to suspend the guidelines immediately because the AMA has now shown they're causing harm to many patients. We need to get as many letters as we can to the White House and to CDC, physical letters. We're going to be emailing and sending electronic letters to our legislators. But these people need real, old-fashioned letters. Suspend CDC. Well, we have an important announcement today. Um, we are now official, officially online with the National Pain Council. This is a group of patients, citizens, and professionals, including doctors, dentists, lawyers, writers, uh, legislative uh, assistants, all coming together to solve the problem of the mass discontinuations of pain medication over the past four years because of the CDC. This is a government agency not tasked with dealing with prescription drugs. That's for the NIH. They were not authorized to do so. They buried the word voluntary on page nine where nobody could see it. It's a, a document of bias, of n lack of science, of lack of checking with other people like the FDA, lack of checking with the AMA, with the American Cancer Society. They didn't check with anybody. And what they did four years ago is a horrible disaster, the worst in American medical history. We've now confirmed there are nine to 10 million people taking pain medicines daily 80% of those have been discontinued by doctors following the instructions of the CDC led by law enforcement, the DEA, who also accepted the CDC guidelines. This is an organization that we're going to use to fight back uh, our goal uh, at least of the people forming it, I am also advising, but this is a much larger group than myself. Um, JAF is going to become the uh, research part. But the people who have formulated this group, the goal is to put people back on their medications that were forcefully discontinued at the request of the CDC. Now the CDC claims they didn't uh, have anything to do with tapering medications that people misread their intent. The word taper is mentioned 42 times in the CDC guidelines. It's mentioned twice in my textbook on opiates. They are very much pushing the agenda to rid the population of pain medicines and we are going to start, and that's we, plural, me, and lots of other people, we're going to reverse all this. The government doesn't run medicine. We run the medicine. We license physicians. So we have a way to get hold of the folks at the National Pain Council. You just email. And you can email suggestions. If you go there, you, go, you can read our goals that we've set up. You could read a little bit about how we plan on uh, 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 achieving those goals. This is kind of a little bit like Wikipedia. Everybody can kind of chime in. So you use this email as a way to chime in. Something you don't like, something you do like. 
We are not interested in nasty polemics. They'll be immediately dropped. We want constructive um, ideas from people that have been harmed by the government, by CDC. So we are also looking for volunteers. We want to have people volunteer. And the best way to volunteer is to say, here's what I'm good at. I'm good at uh, visiting with legislators. I'm good at editing. I'm good at writing. I'm good at looking up things on the computer. And then how much time you'd like to volunteer. We don't expect people to volunteer 40 hours a week. You say, I like to volunteer two hours a week or 30 minutes a day, whatever you want. This is going to be a citizen and professional organization outside the government. We are not taking any money from drug companies. Uh, we do solicit donations, but they're going to have to be screened. We're not going to take donations from anybody that has an alternate agenda. Okay, this is a pure citizens group. And there's going to be enough of us that we can make change. Now, we do need to raise money, of course, because our big expenditures are going to be hiring lawyers for possible large lawsuits and for hiring lobbyists. You know how much a lobbyist cost? $30,000 a month for one lobbyist. But that's how you get things done in Washington, D.C. We're starting off with, we are requesting the CDC guidelines be suspended. If they're being harmful, how can they be in place even one more day? How can a government agency have a policy that's harmful to sick people? Let's get a grip here. Let's get this back on the path to the doctor-patient relationship. I trained a long time. Most all doctors have trained a long time. People were licensed in our states uh, that we supposedly know what we're doing. So leave it to us. The doctor-patient relationship is sacred. It's been sacred since our first doctor, Dr. Hippocrates, two and 500 BC, set up the standard of regular medical practice. So go to the website. All you got to do is punch in a National Pain Council. And you'll get to the website and take a look at it, see what you think, donate some money. Now, a little trick that we'll do uh, is at Harvard, uh, every year when they're fundraising, they ask the person, you know, how much you're going to donate. And then they say, that really sounds nice. Now I want you to double it. And it works about 80% of the time people double their donations. So if you're thinking of donating 20, ah, how about 40? I'm so greedy. Isn't that awful? Uh, we are, uh, our books are going to be open. Uh, anybody who donates can request to see the books uh, for a valid reason. Uh, we're going to try to keep our overhead to 10% or less, which is much, much higher than the industry standard. Uh, we are nonprofit, but we are not tax um, deferred. In other words, you can't deduct your uh, your donation. It's way too expensive at this point and you got to have all kinds of uh, government people visiting your business and we're not going to do that. So you will not get a tax deduction for the donation and um, I've always said that people that are really in the business of donating are the ones you see listed as anonymous. So we're looking for people that really want us to use the money to achieve our goal of reinstituting treatment for, we think, seven to eight million people discontinued from their pain control medications. Thank you. And if you have any questions, National Pain Council at gmail.com. Good evening.